In the old days, customers used to always ask if there were any executive demos on the dealership. You know, the owner would have his own demo or the senior sales staff would have their own demo and they'd put just a handful of miles on it and then the car would be sold at a substantial discount against MSRP. Well, the days of demos are uh, long gone, but once in a while we take in a particularly low mile car that really is kind of a no-brainer. There's no other way to say it. And this might be the ultimate no-brainer, this 2012 Infiniti G37X all-wheel drive with just 3,000 miles. Now, this was put into service September 2nd of 2012, so it has bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty until September 2nd of 2016, or 60,000 miles, and it has powertrain warranty until uh, 2018, September 2nd, or 70,000 miles. And so, just 3,000 miles, its entire warranty life ahead of it, and the uh, a huge discount over what this car costs new makes this one of the absolute no-brainers you'll ever find plus it's a very attractive color combination navigation it's uh, very very well equipped for those of you who don't know a lot about the g37x it's a 328 horsepower 270 foot pound of torque all-wheel drive high performance sports car sports sedan in this case and then with that square body style it's actually fairly reasonably comfortable as far as headroom legroom and such and the uh, build quality on the these cars is absolutely fabulous. The handling is absolutely second to none. Let's take a look at this particular car. Ivory Pearl, the, uh, they actually use a, uh, an element of ground synthetic pearls in the paint to uh, achieve the color and uh, they don't oxidize as the years go by so the paint always looks quite nice. And then the interior is a stone interior and this car just arrived so it's super dirty the uh, i can see coffee stains here and there you might have heard the rumors they're true we actually do drink a lot of coffee here in seattle but by the time you see this car it'll look showroom perfect the uh it is going to be an infinity sold by infinity of kirkland for crying out loud it's going to look great now again for those of you who've never experienced a g37 or a G37X all-wheel drive in this case. Uh, I'm six feet tall, about 195 pounds, and the uh, obviously I'm very, very comfortable here in the front. I have tons of room, telescopic steering, and so forth. And so let's take a look in the back and see how that translates to comfort for my passengers. Well, actually really comfortable. Plenty of legroom in the back, gobs of headroom, and uh, definitely uh, roomy enough for four full-sized adults five in a pinch but if this is your uh, commuter and you're responsible for uh, bringing the crew to work or bringing the crew to school you actually have uh, more than enough room in a G37. Let me pop the trunk. Rear view camera is a nice touch. A lot of people say ah, in a car I don't need a rear view camera. Once you have a rear view camera, there's no going back. It's uh, much better than just looking over your shoulder. They always tell you to look over your shoulder, but it's hard. The camera works so well, especially at night, even when you're parallel parking and such, the, uh, you really do learn to use it and, and rely on it more than your own eyes. The trunk space in the back is actually fairly spacious. I mean, a lot of people criticize G's and they say, ah, you know, it's got a small trunk. But really, it's not all that bad. All rear-wheel drive platform cars, this being all-wheel drive, but it's still a rear-wheel drive platform, uh, have a raised floor so that their drive shaft can make it from the engine to the rear uh, axle. And so the, as a result, the floorboard being uh, that much higher means you're going to have a smaller trunk. It's just that's the real world. However, in the case of the G, it's not all that bad. The architecture that they use, the strut assembly on both sides, doesn't have those big arcing impingements so that when you close the lid, you know, it squeezes on everything. So what you see is what you get. And what you get isn't half bad, to be honest with you. Let's take a look inside. So you'll hear me reference a lot, one of my favorite features on the G-Series car is that the, let me turn it on in fact, push button starts a nice touch, but is that the, uh, it has uh, tilt and telescopic steering. If you notice, if you look at the gauge assembly, when I go up and down with the steering wheel, the entire gauge assembly goes up and down with it. 
And so the steering wheel never blocks my line of vision. It doesn't matter how tall I am, doesn't matter how I'm sitting, I'm always seeing perfectly clearly to the gauges. And so a lot of people are like, well, when I get comfortable in my car, when I get the steering wheel where I want it, I can't see anything. Definitely not the case on the G37. They went away uh, from that feature on our all new Q50, and I can't imagine why. It was a really, really cool feature. Also, it has telescopic steering, so the steering wheel goes in and out as well. It has a beautiful navigation unit, plus that rear view camera that we uh, saw earlier. It is a Tiptronic automatic transmission, so you can go up and down in gears. Why you would do that, I don't know, but some people do. Uh, I guess the one benefit is if maybe you're in the snow or if you're on a hill or something like that and you want to hold a particular gear, but I live on a hill, I drive in the snow all the time, I've never used the Tiptronic feature one time. It does have a snow mode, and so that drive, the car drives more sluggishly, which is fine because you're in the snow. But if you're ever driving down the road and you're thinking, hey, my car's driving really horribly today, it's probably because you've inadvertently pushed the snow mode button and it's just gonna drive more sluggishly. You have heated seats, CD, wonderful Bose stereo system, dual zone climate control, uh, xenon lights, electronic uh, glass moonroof. These G37s come really, really well equipped. And again, only 3,000 miles. I mean, this car is like a brand new car especially when it's completely reconditioned, detailed, and what have you. It really will look like a brand new car, and you'll be enjoying that like brand new experience at a fraction of what this car costs new. It's the no-brainer of all no-brainers. And if you have any questions about this particular car, please don't hesitate to give me a call. In fact, if you have any questions about any of the cars here we have at Infinity of Kirkland, my name's Joe Tunney. I'm the sales manager at Infinity of Kirkland. You can reach me at 425-821-1600, or just drop me an email at joet at infinityofkirkland.com.